All right. So first things first, before we do anything else, we first have to get set up and ready for web development. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of applications that we'll be using pretty much full time during this course. There's two major tools that we'll rely on, and that is going to be the Chrome browser and the Atom text editor. And between these two tools, we're going to achieve a lot. And later on in the course, when we're introducing more advanced concepts, such as using the command line or using a database, then we'll install other things as we go along. But to get started, the most important applications we need to install are just these two. Now, you might already have Chrome installed, but if you don't, then be sure to check out the web development course resources list, which I'll link to in this current lesson. And it's really, really important that you check over here because every single time I mention a link or every single time I try to point you towards something, the links will show up over here and you'll be able to click on it to save you all the trouble of having to type it all out. First things first, if you don't have Chrome installed, then open up this page in your browser and just click on this link to um, go ahead and download and install Chrome. And that should be pretty simple and it will guide you through the process. So now that you've downloaded the browser you need, the next step is to install a code editor. And out there, there are so many different code editors, for example, Atom or VS Code, Sublime, Brackets, and if you think about it, all that you need to actually write code is just some form of text editor. So you could, if you really wanted to, even use something like Notepad. But the downside of Notepad is it doesn't have all of the great features that some of these other specialized code editors have. So two of my favorite are Atom and VS Code, and I use both of them pretty regularly. Now in the course videos, you'll see me use Atom, but if you have a strong preference towards one of these others or any other code editor that you're already used to that you want to use instead, then feel free to do that. But if you have no strong preferences, then I recommend we go ahead and install the Atom text editor and it's completely free to download and install. So if you just head over to atom.io um, or go through the web development course resource list, then you should land on this page and it very cleverly figures out what system you have that you're running. So for example, at the moment I'm running Mac OS and I'm on Mac OS 10.9 or later. So all you have to do is just go ahead and click download. And once download has completed, then you can simply head over to your downloads folder and double click to unzip that package. And now you will see Atom show up. The last thing you have to do is just to move this application into your applications folder. On the Mac, it's just a matter of heading over to your Macintosh hard drive and then your applications folder and then dragging in that Atom application that you just downloaded in your downloads over into here. And then you're all done and you're set up with Atom. Now, if you're a Windows user and you head over to atom.io, you'll see that it'll automatically detect that you are viewing this on a Windows computer. And then you can just go ahead and again, click that big yellow download button. And you should end up with something that's called something like atom setup.exe. And you'll be able to see this in your downloads folder. So now if you just double click on that and it will automatically do everything it needs to install Atom on your system. So once you're done, it should open up a new Atom window like so, and you would have successfully installed Atom. And the power of Atom really comes from their packages. So you can see that they have over 8,000 packages, which are bunches of code that other programmers have written to make your experience of using Atom better. So you can put in custom things such as display a clock in the Atom status bar or other things such as having the file icons next to each of your files or something that's way more practical, which is things like Atom Beautify, which just beautifies and indent your code for you. So these are really, really powerful and we're going to customize it for the course. So again, if you head back over to the web development course resource list, you'll see that there is a list of Atom packages that we want you to install. And these are the ones which are recommended and these are the ones which are optional. All you have to do is open up Atom and go to preferences and then go to install 
And I want you to search for each of these and then just go ahead and install it. So you can simply just copy and paste it into here and you'll see the one that should match up exactly with the name that you see over here. And then just go ahead and click install. And on Windows is absolutely exactly the same. And once you have installed all of your packages, then you should be able to view them over here. Now, if you end up having any issues installing packages in Atom, then I recommend to go back to that Google Doc and scroll down to the place where I've got the troubleshooting instructions and follow each of these steps to see if you can try and resolve it. Now, if you really can't fix it and your specific version of Windows or Mac or Linux just won't install Atom or won't install the packages, then I recommend to go ahead and get VS Code instead. So head over to the link. So you'll be able to find the link to VS Code again in the course resource list. And once you click on it, it will take you to a website which will automatically look at which system you're running and give you a big download button. And then from there on, it's exactly the same as downloading and installing Atom. Now you can also click on the drop down list to select the stable version of whichever system you're running. I recommend don't go for the insiders version because it usually has more bugs. I recommend going for the stable version instead. Now, similar to the packages in Atom, I've also compiled a list of the equivalent extensions in VS Code that you can install. So head over to the course resources list and you'll be able to find this list of VS Code extensions that I recommend. But the goal is to have the Chrome browser installed and some form of text editor, be it VS Code or Atom installed. Once you've got a editor and the Chrome browser, then you're ready to head over to the next lesson where we're gonna get started actually learning how to code and start building our website. So for all of that and more, I'll see you on the next lesson.